What scent essentials do you need? Let's roll. This is Bobby the Booze, and today we're going to be talking about what scent essentials you need on set. These are like basically small items that you should always have around on set because you never know when you will need them. So let's just dive right into it. The first thing. What is that? That was a tape off one of my lights, like the, the gels. I'm going to be talking about that in a second. Anyways, so first thing I think that the most important thing that everybody should have around on set is gaffer tape. I cannot tell you why important gaffer tape is. Because, and, and I'm not talking about just get any tape like duct tape or scotch tape or any of that. No, 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 you need gaffer tape. The one that doesn't leave the freaking, I don't have any around for some reason for, I know I'm talking about this, but I don't have it around right now, but you definitely need gaffer tape around. Whether it is to tape, you know, cinefoil to a light, whether you wanna, you know, tape the wires to the ground, whatever the use, you can always count on gaffer tape. Number two, always have, a multi-tool around or like, um, you know, one of those things with like the different screwdriver heads, like a Phillips head and like the flat head and all of that, along with some different Allen key sizes, because, you know, there's always going to be a nut or a bolt that will need tightening. And so long as you have a multi, I think Red makes a really good one. And there's this other company, I'm going to be putting up like these little thingies either here or here, or somewhere here. Uh, and they're all from BNA. It's not an affiliate link because I don't really know how to do that, but, uh, I trust b &H. yeah, good shit. So yeah, have a look at those. Just always have one of those around and it kind of looks cool hanging off your belt when you're at a shoot. Um, always have a cleaning kit around for your lenses. Um, I think I, I have a cleaning kit, but I did not take it out. It's still in my bag, but like, you know, the little puffy thing and like the, 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 the tissue kind of thing, which you kind of go like that. And then the, the one with like the ladies brush thingy, like, yeah, exactly. You, you know what I'm talking about. A fucking cleaning kit. Always have one of those around. Um, and I will recommend at least once a month, just, you know, take out a day on a Sunday, just sit there, have a beer and just clean out your lenses and always have that with you as well. So just in case, you know, there's sand or whatever, whatever circumstance you're in, you could always need to clean your lens. So have that around. Next thing I want to talk about is a cinefoil. This thing is fantastic. If you if you don't really know what cinefoil is, it's basically um, it's like this black wrap paper thingy. Um, and the difference between this and like this is like the difference between this and uh, any other kind of foil is that it's hard. It doesn't burn, so you know you can put it on those old school tungsten kind of lights and everything. Just, I mean, I have it right here. I don't know what, can I get up and show you? Will it follow me? Hello? Hello. You wanna follow me? Slowly. Are you coming? Are you coming? Yeah, it is. Look, so you see this? I'm just, because it was doing too much spill on the backdrop, I just put a little cinefoil on it. It heats up, but it doesn't burn, so you're good. Always have cinefoil around, it helps a lot. Those with C47s, C47s are like those little clothespins. They, they, they just, you call them C47s because it sounds cooler than clothespins. But yeah, those, you just put them on and just put them around the light, shape the light, just like I showed you. It helps a lot. Next thing I wanna talk about is atmosphere aerosol. Now, this thing is fantastic. It's basically atmosphere in a can or haze in a can. Um, yes, a hazer. Uh, okay, firstly, the difference between a hazer and a fog machine is a fog machine will make really thick fog. Haze will dissipate into the air, but it'll add this atmosphere. So when the light is shining, you will actually see the rays coming through. If you know what I mean? I'll show you a few examples. Hang on. That is without haze. And this is with haze. See, it just makes the shop come to life. So these things are, the haze machines and everything are very expensive, but you can get these little cans, these atmosphere aerosol, that's what I've been using. You know, you just take the can right before the shot, you spray a little, it doesn't last very long, but you know, just, just get a bunch of them and it's still gonna be cheaper. So definitely have at least one of those in your bag at all times. 
Another thing is uh, lens caps, extra lens caps. I have like at least a dozen at the house and I carry at least one of like either side in my bag because you know what? I don't think there's ever been a shoe. Well, I mean, of course they have it, but most of the time, always somebody always loses a freaking lens cap or at least for the time being for like a little bit, people will lose a lens cap and they'll be like, oh, where's the lens cap? And then you're looking for it and you're going to another bag. So, and you don't want to be leaving your lens all exposed like that. So it's good to have these extras around in your bag. So even if you lose one, you put the extra one on. Or if you find it later, great. You still put it back in your bag and you're good to go. Next thing I want to talk about is uh, as cool as flares are, not everything is a J.J. Abrams Star Trek movie. So have some of these around. Um, these, this is a silicone uh, lens hood. You just pop it onto the lens and, you know, you can just move it back like this when you need to cut the flare, just pop it out like that. I like these silicone ones because they're more flexible and stuff, but you know, there's hard uh, metal ones you can get as well. And they protect the lens. If the lens falls, you know, with the camera or whatever, it'll protect the glass from breaking. So it's good protection too. Next thing I want to talk about, another thing which I don't have here, it's just in my bag and I'm not gonna, it's step up rings. Um, you can't imagine, there's so many times when you're trying to use something like you've rented lenses or something or the other and you're trying to put filters on but it's not the right size. So if you have step up and step down rings so you can always just screw those on so that you can always adjust and that's that way you can always get like bigger size filters. I'm not going to talk about filters in this video by the way because I think that's a whole separate video so I will do that very soon but if you if you have these step up rings around it makes it so much easier just to adapt the filters and all of these things that you have to smaller lenses or sometimes to bigger lenses. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Right, another thing is um, these things. These are filter wrenches. Now, these are, you would think they're not necessary and you'd be like, hey, you know, like I know how to screw a filter and take it off. But a lot of times after a lot of use, filters get stuck or you'll get some dumbass AC, you'll tighten them too hard and then you're like, dude, what the hell? You know, so these things basically, um, you take a lens, the one of the filters is stuck, you put it on, Take the other one in front and you just squeeze on through and it helps a lot. This has been so many times when filters have gone stuck because of, you know, well, sometimes because of me, sometimes because of other people, but it's just, it's just a good thing to have with you on set. Another thing I want to mention is ah, gels. Now these are color gels. Um, Roscoe, I think is excellent. Um, these are like different colors and you get the, the CTOs and CTBs and, you know, things like that. Um, the reason I am, uh, uh, the reason I use these a lot is for example, uh, my key light right now is daylight balance. But since I want to get this really cool effect going, I put a CTO, this is color temperature orange on it. And that, you know, makes it, makes it more warm, the light. So it's always good to have extra gels around, especially some uh, ND gels. ND gels are basically used either on lights to make them, uh, you know, make, make the power less. And this was used a lot, you know, when there was tungsten fixtures or HMI and stuff, because with those, um, you know, you couldn't really, not a lot of things back in the day had dimmers, but you could also use ND gels if like you're standing by a window and it's way too bright outside to get the exposure right. You put ND gels all over the window and boom, you got your exposure match. So it's always good to have gels around. And uh, finally, I just want to mention real quick that this, this isn't really a small thing you can carry, but always have like reflectors or something around, you know, because those are always helpful no matter what the situation. Indoors or outdoors, you know, these things help a lot. This thing is, yeah, what is that? Hmm. Anyways, yeah, so always have like reflectors around and I think it really helps. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah. Yeah, this helps. Yeah, so... It helps to have reflectors around because a lot of the times, even if you don't have lights, you can just use a reflector to just fix shit up, uh, to, you know, just use the sun uh, to light the rest of your scenes. So that usually works out well. Hang on, give me a second. Let me just close this little guy up. Alrighty. So, yeah, guys, um, those are just some basic um, sin essentials, as I call them, that you should have around set. And um, if you have any questions or if you want to add anything to the list, because I know I'm sure there's a lot of things that I missed out on, please do that. 
And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I will really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one. Hey then.